Good evening, you're watching the Daily News Bulletin. I'm Navya Singh and I'll take you through the most important headlines of the day. Let's begin. Former Jawaharlal Nehru University student Umar Khalid was arrested by the Delhi Police Special Cell late on Sunday night for his alleged involvement in the Delhi riots that shook the national capital early in February this year. The police has arrested the former JNU student under the stringent Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, which is the UAPA, after nearly 11 hours of grilling and questioning. The police has said that Umar Khalid has been named as one of the main conspirators in the Northeast Delhi riots that claimed over 50 lives and injured hundreds of people in February this year. Shifting focus to Maharashtra, 27-year-old attendant at a COVID-19 quarantine centre in Maharashtra's Thane district has been arrested by the police for allegedly raping a 20-year-old woman inside the centre. Now, this particular incident took place in the month of June. However, it came to light after the woman filed a complaint with the police on Saturday. The woman in her complaint has mentioned that she was raped not once, but thrice by the accused. She has also mentioned that the accused raped her while she was living at the quarantine centre to look after a relative of hers who tested positive for COVID-19. A single-day spike of over 92,000 fresh infections of COVID-19 has pushed the country's coronavirus tally past the 48 lakh mark. The death toll due to the deadly virus is also nearing the 80,000 mark after more than 1,100 deaths were reported just in the last 24 hours. Talking about recoveries, India's COVID-19 recoveries have witnessed a sharp rise from 50,000 in May to 36 lakh in the month of September. Now, as cases spike in the country, the monsoon session of the parliament also started today with all the safety protocols in place. However, at least 17 MPs tested positive on the very first day. Meanwhile, Union Health Minister Harshwardhan has said that he's ready to volunteer for the first shot of the vaccine for COVID-19 if there is any trust deficit among people on the vaccine. Now, weeks after the Indian government banned several apps with Chinese links in the country, citing threat to the country's security and sovereignty, a recent investigation has revealed that India is now under a hybrid warfare. The investigation has revealed that a tech company with Chinese links or links with the Communist Party in China and the government in China has been watching and regulating more than 10,000 individuals and organizations in India that constitutes its foreign target list. Now, the investigation has revealed that right from Prime Minister Narendra Modi to President Ramnath Kovind to several chief ministers, cabinet ministers, the chief of defense staff and former chiefs of the Indian Army, Air Force and Navy all are on the list. Not just people who are public representatives or people in position of power, but also actors, sportspersons, religious figures, everybody is on the list. Now, the investigation has revealed that the company basically collects or accesses information from social media platforms and other platforms that are easily available and also your personal information. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this comes at a time when there are escalating tensions along the line of factual control with India and China. Shifting focus to Uttar Pradesh, a special security force will be constituted by the Yogi Adityanath-led government in the state that will be empowered to search and arrest anyone without a warrant. Now, this particular task force, also known as the Uttar Pradesh Special Security Force, will somehow share the same powers as the CISF in the state. The force will be tasked to protect courts, airports and several state government offices in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Now, this particular move by the UP government has received a lot of backlash from critics who claim that the power to arrest or search anyone without a warrant will be misused by the state authorities. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.